I need to tell you about something that just happened with this interstellar comet, and honestly, it's getting kind of wild at this point. So NASA just put out new data on 3i Atlas today, and once again, this thing has changed. Like, completely changed. And I'm not talking about some subtle shift that only the scientists notice. I'm talking about a full transformation that's visible in the images, measurable in the light curves, and actually affecting how this comet is moving through space. Let me back up for a second and give you the context, because if you haven't been following this story, you need to understand just how unusual this whole situation has become. 3i Atlas is an interstellar comet. That means it came from another star system, passed through ours, and is now heading back out into the void. We've only ever confirmed a handful of these objects, so every time we get one, it's a big deal. But this one? This one has been rewriting the rulebook almost every single day. And the reason it keeps making headlines is because it won't stop changing. Most comets, once they round the sun and start heading back out, they kind of settle down. The activity drops off, the dust fades, and they just cruise along a predictable path. Maybe you get a few little flares here and there, but nothing dramatic. 3i Atlas is not doing that. Instead, it's going through these cycles of transformation that nobody really predicted. And each time we think we figured out what's going on, it shifts again. Before we continue, make sure to hit that sub -serb and bell button and drop a like on this video you don't want to regret by missing. Wai Chi coming next. So here's where we were yesterday. The big story was this bizarre hollow appearance in the coma. You know how a comet usually has this bright core? surrounded by a fuzzy cloud of gas and dust? Well, 3i Atlas had developed this weird structure where the center was actually dimmer than the outer ring. It looked like a donut. Seriously. A glowing ring with a darker spot in the middle. And that was strange enough on its own, but it also came with this smoothed-out light curve. The brightness wasn't fluctuating as much. It was almost like the comet had wrapped itself in a blanket of dust and settled into this calmer, more uniform mode. That was yesterday. Today? Completely different story. When the team at NASA stacked the new images and compared them to the ones from just 24 hours earlier, the donut was gone. Just gone. The dark center had filled back in, and now there was a bright, compact core again. Which, okay, that's already interesting, but here's where it gets really good. Coming out of that core, cutting through the inner coma like a pair of wings, there are now two distinct plumes. Two jets of material shooting out in almost opposite directions, and they're not faint little wisps. In the contrast-enhanced images, these things stand out. They form this shape that almost looks like a faint letter, X, with one plume angled slightly toward the sun, and the other trailing off at a different angle that doesn't match the main tail at all. So in the span of one day, 3i Atlas went from this hollow donut-shaped structure to a bright core with twin jets. That's transformation number one. Now let's talk about the light curve, because this is where things get really interesting from a physics standpoint. Yesterday, when we had that hollow coma, the brightness pattern was relatively smooth. It had these broad, gentle peaks as the comet rotated. Nothing too dramatic. But today's data shows something completely different. The light curve now has this sharp, almost heartbeat-like pattern. It brightens fast, then fades slowly. Brightens fast, fades slowly, over and over with each rotation. And that pattern is telling us something really specific. When you see a light curve that looks like that, with a quick spike followed by a gradual drop, it usually means you're looking at a rotating object with narrow, concentrated, active regions. In other words, jets. Here's how it works. As the comet spins, one of these active vents rotates into sunlight. When that happens, it flares up quickly. You get this sudden burst of brightness. Then, as that vent rotates away from the sun, the material it just ejected starts to spread out and fade from view. That's your slow decline. Then the comet keeps rotating, the next vent swings into sunlight, and boom, another spike. The fact that we're now seeing this very clear repetitive pattern in the light curve, combined with those two visible plumes in the images, tells us that 3i Atlas has fundamentally reorganized how it's releasing material into space. It's not doing this diffuse, all-over-the-surface kind of outgassing anymore. It's focused. It's concentrated. It's shooting jets from specific locations on the nucleus. But here's where this story takes another turn. And this is the part that really made the Orbital Dynamics team 
pay attention. Every time they get new position measurements for the comet, they feed that data into their orbital models. And because comets release gas and dust, they don't just follow a perfect gravitational path. They get these tiny extra pushes from the outgassing. We call those non-gravitational forces. For 3i Atlas, they've been tracking these non-gravitational forces throughout the entire observing campaign, watching how the comet's outgassing is nudging it off its purely gravitational trajectory. And today, when they updated the models with the latest positions, something happened that hasn't happened before. The magnitude of that push, the strength of the non-gravitational force, jumped up. Now, we're not talking about some massive orbit-altering shove. This isn't like the comet suddenly got hit by something or exploded. But compared to what it was doing just a few days ago, the thrust from outgassing has measurably increased. And here's the kicker. The direction of that thrust now lines up almost perfectly with the average direction of those two jets we're seeing in the images. Think about what that means. Yesterday, the comet had this diffuse dust shell around it, and the push it was getting from outgassing was weak and kind of scattered in direction. Today, that shell has collapsed. These two dominant jets have taken over, and suddenly the comet is pushing itself through space more forcefully and in a much more defined direction. It's like the comet went from having a bunch of little thrusters firing randomly all over the place to having two main engines that just kicked in. So when you put all of this together, the images, the light curve, and the orbital dynamics, what you're seeing is a complete reconfiguration of how 3i Atlas is behaving. And it happened in less than a day. Now, the question everyone's asking is, what does this actually mean? What's going on inside this thing? To understand that, we need to think about what's been happening to this comet over the last few weeks and months. 3i Atlas came screaming through our solar system, made its closest approach to the sun back in January, and has been heading outbound ever since. When it was near the sun, it was getting absolutely baked by solar radiation. All that energy was driving into the surface, heating up the ices, causing massive amounts of outgassing and dust release. But here's the thing about comets. They're not solid all the way through. They're these loosely bound collections of ice, rock, and organic material, and heat doesn't penetrate into them instantly. It takes time. So even though 3i Atlas is now getting farther from the sun and receiving less direct solar heating, the heat that it absorbed weeks ago is still working its way deeper into the nucleus. And as that thermal wave propagates inward, it's encountering layers of ice that haven't been exposed to warmth in billions of years, these are ices that formed in the frigid environment of another star system, got locked away in the interior of this comet, and have been frozen in these metastable states ever since. Metastable means they're kind of trapped in a higher energy configuration. They're not in their lowest energy state, but they haven't had the energy to transition. Until now, as the heat reaches these deeper layers, those ices start to rearrange. They crack. They sublimate. They can even explode in these sudden phase transitions. And every time one of these buried pockets of volatile material finds a pathway to the surface, 3 si Atlas changes. That's what we're watching happen in real time. If you look back at the last week or so as a series of chapters, you can see this evolution playing out. First, we saw these asymmetric outbursts. Random flares of activity coming from different parts of the nucleus, then we noticed that the direction of the non-gravitational thrust kept shifting. The comet was pushing itself in different directions as different vents turned on and off. Then we got that hollow coma structure, that donut shape. And the prevailing theory there was that the nucleus had basically wrapped itself in its own dust. All the material being released was forming this shell around the core, obscuring what was underneath. And now, today... That shell has thinned out or blown away, and what we're seeing underneath is this new configuration with two dominant vents that are hammering away in opposite directions. It's like the comet is shedding layers, peeling back its outer structure bit by bit, and exposing these deeper, more active regions. And here's what makes this both fascinating and a little bit scary. We have no idea if this is going to stop. Is 3i Atlas stabilizing into this new twin jet pattern? Is this the final configuration it's going to settle into for the rest of its journey out of the solar system? Or is this just another step in a longer, more chaotic transformation? If those two jets stay consistent over the next few days, 
If the light curve keeps showing that same heartbeat pattern, if the thrust remains steady, then maybe we're watching the comet reach a new equilibrium, a stripped-down core with two stubborn fractures venting into space, gradually fading as it drifts back into the darkness between the stars. But if the pattern keeps changing, if those jets start to flicker, if new structures appear in the coma, if the light curve morphs again, then what we saw today is just another frame in what could be a much longer and more dramatic sequence. And here's the possibility that nobody really wants to say out loud, but everyone's kind of thinking about, what if all these changes, all these reorganizations, all this shedding of layers and exposure of deeper material, what if it's building towards something more catastrophic? What if 3i Atlas is heading toward a structural failure? Think about what's happening here. You've got thermal energy propagating through the interior. You've got pressure building up from some sublimating ices. You've got the nucleus spinning, which creates centrifugal forces. You've got jets firing in different directions, which can create torques that change how the nucleus is rotating. All of those factors are putting stress on the structure. And if enough of those stresses line up the wrong way at the wrong time, the nucleus doesn't just change. It breaks apart. We've seen comets fragment before. It's not common, but it happens. And when it does, it's usually spectacular. The nucleus splits into multiple pieces, each one venting and creating its own tail. Sometimes those fragments survive and drift apart. Sometimes they disintegrate completely into a cloud of debris. Could that happen to 3i Atlas? Honestly, nobody knows. <laughs> what we do know is that every time NASA releases a new batch of data... Every time they update the images and the light curves and the orbital fits, this object looks less and less like a normal comet and more and more like something we've never really dealt with before. And part of that might be because it's interstellar. This thing formed around a different star. The conditions there, the chemical composition, the structure, the history, all of that might be fundamentally different from the comets that formed in our own solar system. So when it comes through our sun's heat, it might be reacting in ways that our models, which are all based on solar system comets, don't fully predict. That's what makes this so compelling. We're not just watching a comet. We're watching a visitor from another star system reveal its secrets layer by layer as it responds to our sun's energy in ways that challenge everything we thought we understood. And right now, in this moment, what we're seeing is a comet that has changed again. It's gone from hollow to focused, from diffuse to directional, from quiet to active, the forces acting on it have shifted. The structure of its coma has transformed. The way it's moving through space has been altered by its own outgassing. And all of that happened in the span of about 24 hours. So what happens next? That's the question. Does this new twin jet configuration hold? Does 3i Atlas finally settle into a stable pattern as it continues its journey out of the inner solar system? Or is this just the calm before something even more extreme? Over the next few days and weeks, the telescopes are going to keep watching, the imaging teams are going to keep taking pictures, the photometry teams are going to keep measuring brightness, the astrometry teams are going to keep tracking its position, and all of that data is going to feed into our models, refine our understanding, and hopefully give us some clues about where this is all heading. But for now, what we can say with certainty is that 3i Atlas is not done surprising us. Every update brings something new. Every observation reveals another layer of complexity. This interstellar visitor came into our solar system, put on one hell of a show near the sun, and is now, as it heads back out into the cosmos, continuing to evolve in ways that are keeping scientists on their toes and rewriting what we thought we knew about how comets behave. And that's what makes this whole thing so worth following. Because we're witnessing something rare, something unpredictable. Something that's forcing us to think harder and look closer and question our assumptions. So if you want to know whether today's transformation is the final chapter or just another step in a longer story, stay tuned. Keep watching. Because with 3i Atlas, the only thing we can predict is that it's going to keep doing things we don't expect. 